Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ron. I recently bought a beast of a laptop. It's a maxed out Dell XPS 15. It's a model 9520. Actually, this one on my desk here, my old one's over here on the right. This laptop has everything that you want as a content creator, but it did cost me over 3.6 thousand to get exactly everything that I wanted. Now, this isn't gonna be a review of this new laptop as I haven't had it long enough to give you my complete feedback, though, I do plan on doing that video once I've had a chance to dig into this laptop a little bit more and have a bit more time to actually sit down and really edit the footage before I make that video. Now, what this video is about is my experience with Dell both before and after the purchase, a brief conversation about Dell's Migrate Assist tool, and why you may wanna think twice before purchasing a Dell product in 2022. Okay, for starters, the purchasing was smooth and easy. I went in on a Dell's website and completely customized this laptop exactly as I wanted it. Any questions I had, quickly answered by Dell's sales team. Sales is right there to promptly answer any questions you have, a smooth purchasing experience, zero complaint about the sales aspect. So I think it goes without saying that Dell's got the sales end of buying their laptops nailed down. Now, the issue for me started with their commitment delivery dates. And I'm not going to get into all the details, but let's just say uh, that Dell is a bit misleading with their delivery dates. And what you see on their website as the delivery date is probably not the actual true delivery date. And only after you made the purchase, hit that purchase button, does that become apparently clear. Now, my order actually came within a week because I had the order expedited. However, you may see a message like the one that I'm gonna show you here only after you've made the purchase. It reads, thank you for the order. The current lockdown in China is restricting logistics and delaying order deliveries. The tracking number for your order will not become active until the system arrives in your country. This may take up to 30 days. Yes, 30 days. So again, my order actually arrived quickly, but it would have been nice to see this disclosure from Dell prior to me actually hitting that purchase button. I just felt it a bit deceptive not to see the message until after the purchase was made. And I'll tell you, if you have time, it does pay to call their shipping or sales team if the information on their website doesn't sync exactly with what you were told or saw on the purchasing screen prior to making the purchase. In my case, I was able to get $180 credit and expedited shipping because of the shipping dates being miscommunicated during my initial purchase. Again, Dell sales teams, very responsive. Clearly Dell's looking to make that sale. Now, once you have the new laptop, you're probably gonna be dealing with the Dell support team. And this is where the problems for me personally began. Now, based on my own experience and multiple, yes, multiple Dell support tickets, Clearly, the support team is undertrained. And if you call and speak with more than one Dell support team member, you're going to get a different answer, I guarantee, to the same exact question. For example, I was having an issue with the Dell Data Assistant not working on my old laptop. The program wasn't launching properly. You need to use the Dell Data Assistant on your old machine so you can sync everything to the new machine. So Dell did a remote login into my old machine and started looking around, uninstalling and reinstalling the Dell Data Assistant, but couldn't figure out why it wasn't launching or working. Bottom line, they created a support, a support ticket and said someone would call me back in 24 to 48 hours, and that never happened. Now, what did happen is I ended up resolving the problem myself and down the road actually informing one of the Dell supervisors of the bug and the fix within their own Dell Data Assistant application. In short, if you launch the Dell Data Assistant and don't see this message on the bottom of your screen, you need to click on the service tag option here to refresh the data. So once the data is refreshed, you're gonna get a pop-up here and you need to click on this to launch the actual Dell Migrate tool. The Dell support team wasn't able to figure this out and never did call me back to resolve the issue. That was one of the first issues I had immediately after receiving my new Dell laptop. And I just realized I was pointing to this one and this one. This is the new one over here on my right, my right. This is the old one over here on the left. Sorry, I think I mixed them up in the beginning. Now, something you need to be aware of with the Dell Migrate tool, and Dell knows they're being misleading to customers 
and how they market this tool. I was under the impression that the tool was gonna to copy everything from my old laptop over to my new laptop based on everything on the Dell website and all the documentation that Dell provides regarding this tool. And I had no reason to think otherwise. However, be warned, the Dell Migrate tool does not, does not clone or mirror your old machine to your new machine. It only copies or transfers what I would call basic or common files. The application will only copy things like documents, images, uh, the date and time settings from your old machine, uh, also, let's say background screen savers, web browser bookmarks, things like that, your basic settings. To be clear, what it does not do is migrate all your installed applications, games, or programs. So if you're someone like me, don't expect the Dell Migrate tool to move files like Adobe uh, Cloud, the Adobe apps. This is not a tool for moving Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, Lightroom, uh, all your other customized, you know, Mogurt files, your LUTs, and other settings. And this is where I really got frustrated because I paid $49 to, to Dell for this migration tool and had a totally different experience with my wife's brand new Mac Studio laptop. To be clear, Apple actually makes a product for their Macs that literally makes a mirror copy of your old laptop, your old Mac, when moving uh, things to your new Mac. I know this because I just did this for my wife after she bought a brand new uh, Mac Studio. And I use what's called the Migration Assistant to actually copy everything from her old Mac to her new Mac. That tool actually copied all my wife's apps, programs, and settings. Yeah, very similar name between Dell and uh, uh, Apple, but they're two totally different tools, although the names are very similar. And that's maybe that's what threw me off. And of course, this is why I was expecting the same or something similar from Dell. So to add insult to injury, when I called Dell's premium support team, I was told to just rerun the Dell Migrate again, and it should work the second time. And this was bad information from Dell premium support. Because after that didn't work, I called and spoke to one of the supervisors at Dell who confirmed for me that was incorrect. And he, being an Apple owner himself, uh, knows that the Dell Migrate tool doesn't copy over your Adobe apps like Premiere Pro, After Effects, or Lightroom. So in short, I wanted to make this video because Dell's providing misleading information on their website uh, regarding what the Dell Migrate tool will actually do. If you think it's going to migrate all your apps, it won't. And for Dell, I hope you do the right thing and update your Dell Migrate website so it's clear to the consumer that not all your apps and programs are gonna be migrated. And I don't appreciate being told by one of the Dell support staff reps that when your documentation reads, and I quote, Dell Migrate will help you move files and settings from your old PC, that the average consumer should interpret that as apps and programs will not be moved. And it shouldn't be up to us, the consumer, to read between your lines. So how about this, Dell? How about you just clearly state what your app will and won't do instead of misleading the consumer, then there won't be any confusion. So I hope this video helps a few of you out. It's frustrating when a company deliberately misleads the consumer or when poor customer service is being provided. I've spoken to many others on this issue as well. And Dell, you guys clearly have some work to do here. I'm not the only one who's run into these types of problems. And there are plenty of other videos out there saying very similar things in 2020 about, uh, sorry, 2022 about Dell. I'm hoping Dell does the right thing here and gives consumers a better experience moving forward. To be clear, I had to manually move all my apps and my programs myself from my old laptop over to my new laptop. Now, I spoke with a lot of different Dell departments, one of them being Dell's advanced resolution services team, and many other Dell reps are aware of these issues. And I told them I was making this video, but I guess it remains to be seen if they actually do anything about it. I should quickly mention my experience uh, with Windows 11, which comes with these new laptops uh, so far, hasn't been the best either. I've, I've quickly learned that with Windows 11, it does not allow the drag and drop functionality that we're all used to. For example, I can no longer drag and drop files directly into Adobe Premiere Pro. Apparently that's something Windows uh, techs are working on for future updates, but I haven't seen anything released for dates as of yet. 
And that's it for this video. If you got any value out of it, please don't forget to leave a like. And if you've had similar experiences with Dell, let me hear about it in the comments. I'm sure it'll be a quite interesting chat. Take care. We'll see you guys in the next video.